VR isn't new anymore, but there's been so many good titles since. Picking out the games that require the VR headset, here are the top 10 PS VR games of all time arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. We're starting off the countdown with number 10, Electronauts. Forming the perfect marriage of neon lights, electronic music, and VR capabilities, this casual music game will let you unleash your inner DJ. Electronauts wraps itself in stereotypical neon lights, which for many seems the perfect representation of the disc jock life. But even if that's still not your thing, critics like COG Connected would tell you that that's not a problem. I'm still no diehard fan of EDM, but the game has certainly opened my eyes to the wide variety of music and just how fun it can be to manipulate it. Manipulation is pretty much key in Electronauts, where you get to create beats and remix their admittedly obscure but solid track selection. They also have plenty of YouTube tutorials, which will gladly show you the ropes. Push Square may have given it a mere 7 out of 10, but they enjoy this kind of accessibility that makes it fun for any kind of player. It has a play score of an 8.38. Coming in at number 9 is Red Matter. Released just last December 2018, Red Matter came long after the advent of virtual reality games, and you could definitely see it with the way it handles the technicalities of the platform. This story-driven adventure revolves around a Cold War-like situation set in the far future. In it, you, the player, will take on the role of astronaut-slash-agent Epsilon as he ventures to Saturn's moon to investigate a shady top-secret research project. Maybe add Astra? Without the daddy issues? Among all four of its critic reviews, Red Matter was praised for how it incorporated the strengths of the platform in the game. This is demonstrated in TSA's review where they called it the most immersive puzzle game, thanks in no small part to how well it made use of the VR. On top of its technicals, its atmosphere and setting also play a huge part. As PS Universe says, Red Matter nails its Soviet-era underground bunker with a realistic visual flair. It has a play score of an 8.39. Eighth place goes to I Expect You to Die. If you thought that the sci-fi was a great and familiar place to start on the VR, wait till you see this. Parodying the iconic spy movies we grew up with, I Expect You to Die puts you in the suits and bow tie of a world-class agent. With the aid of a wry narrator, Ella, Stanley Parable, it guides you through puzzles and escape the room scenarios that all seem to capture the ridiculousness and the ridiculous risks of the spy trade. Self-destruct aborted. Despite getting ratings below 8, reviewers like Upload VR still poured praise onto the title. According to them, between the motion controls and the immersive view of virtual reality, it does a good job of putting you there in complex and sometimes dangerous situations. It has a play score of an 8.46. At number 7 is Sirento VR. This next game banks on the immersive powers of virtual reality by selling you the experience of becoming a powerful cyber ninja. In Sirento VR, you're equipped with all the tools you need to be the stealthy Japanese cyborg you probably wanted to be. As fun as it is to play, a lot of critics admit that the VR experience isn't exactly perfect. This sentiment shows up in many of the reviews, but each of them agree that its strengths far outweigh the game's technical glitches. That's exactly GameSpew's view, saying it's worth putting up with all of these glitchy moments because Sirento VR is such a ridiculous, over-the-top joy to play. COG Connected pretty much shared these sentiments when they said the swordplay left much to be desired, but everything else more than made up for it. Being a hit among gamers with a gamer score of a whopping 9.03, it shows Sirento hit it off with a total play score of an 8.46. Sixth place goes to The Persistence. We're back on another creepy space station in this title from Fire Sprite Limited. Virtual reality was practically built for immersion, and if there's one genre that fits that perfectly, it's horror. 
It's a wonder we got this far in this list without them, but persistence persisted and proved to be a fitting entrance. What makes it stand out is its use of procedural generation, which adds replayability and tension to their narrative. As Tech Raptor says, each run on the spaceship saw me rethink how to approach enemies. Some critics, like PS Lifestyle, may have given it a less than awesome score, but it is, for the most part, a solid title still. Other than some moments where it felt unfair to them, they ultimately recommend it. While it does have its flaws, there's something incredibly satisfying about sneaking up behind enemies and zapping the stem cells out of their skulls. Adding replayability to the VR horror formula, it has a play score of an 8.49. We're down to number 5 with Ghost Giant. VR is always about unique experiences, and this game gets the experience of having a friend. From the makers of the quirky tiles Faye and Flipping Death, Zoink Games tells an interesting story of a small cat and his newfound friend as they go on to solve puzzles and keep life together. Unlike other games, Ghost Giant isn't exactly impressive in terms of technical innovations. According to IGN, who gave it an 8.30, it may look like any other object-based puzzler, but it has a kind of charm tugged at many a critic's heartstrings. Giving it a decent score of a flat 7, even Destructoid couldn't disagree, saying, It feels like a VR advancement of a classic PC point-and-click adventure game, albeit one with a great look, phenomenal sound design, and a story I'm not ashamed to admit had me choking up a bit toward the end. An essential VR game, if only for its story, it has a play score of an 8.5. Fourth place is Blood and Truth. An exclusive for the PSVR, Blood and Truth might be a great fix for anyone that's still on that John Wick high. This VR title evolved out of the brutal gangster actions of PlayStation VR's World's London Heist. That makes it all the more impressive to see how far SIE London's studio has come. Just like Sayrento VR, Blood and Truth also has its share of glitches. According to Upload VR, some of these flaws come out in the form of their sometimes frustrating moment system. But despite this and their pacing issues, they ultimately called Blood and Truth a tour de force for the PSVR. The action is pulse-pounding and so bombastic it rivals even the biggest summer blockbusters. IGN said almost the same thing in their review. Blood and Truth's intense shooting action made me feel as cool as its characters, immersing me in its world even as its limited movement did its best to remind me I wasn't in full control. For a taste of the action star package, Blood and Truth has you covered with a score of an 8.57. Third on our list goes to Beat Saber. Beat Saber could very well be one of the first faces of VR. One, because it makes you feel like Jedis and Siths if you're into that. And two, because you'll look really cool if you're good at it. Beat Saber is a rhythm game on the VR, and it stands out with its surrealistic neon environment. Swinging around sabers and slicing through red and blue blocks at the perfect moment can be quite a workout. For IGN, giving the game a 9.50, Beat Saber literally leaves me breathless. Later on the review, IGN also noted the game's sparse tracks on release. However, a lot has changed since, with users allowed to create custom songs with a few release DLCs and updates. Game Informer also states that Beat Saber is a great poster boy for the platform. It doesn't have majestic surroundings, but it uses VR to place you into the music and taps into your carnal desire to hit things with swords. It has a play score of an 8.97. When all the paths are Second on our list is Moss. Beat Saber was markedly sparse in the environment aspect, but not here in Polyarch's VR adventure. In Moss, we are treated to a feast of visual delights. It tells the story of a young mouse named Quill, who awakens in ancient magic and wanders around the vast woodlands. 
Unlike her, the world is large, and you get front seats to the action as you guide her through the journey. Wonder and awe are feelings you'll get a lot, and it's reflected in the reviews it received upon release. WCCFTech.com gave the game a 9, complimenting the comfort and ease that the world offers. The forest world that Quill calls her home is a character all in its own. But aside from its sheer beauty, it also offers up an enduring friendship between you and Quill that will make its three-hour storyline too short of a stay. Game Spews adjusts when she squeaks and holds up her adorable little arm, make sure you don't leave her hanging. It has a play score of an 8.98. And the best PSVR of all time goes to… Astrobot Rescue Mission. A lot of our games so far have excelled in individual aspects, but as the number one game, this VR title has managed to balance immersion, story, and technicals all in one straightforward package. Astrobot Rescue came to us at the tail end of last year and has since stolen the show entirely. As usual, it isn't groundbreaking. Destructoid gave it a 7.50 for relying on the VR wow factor, but even they couldn't deny its responsiveness and polished finish. There's also a lot to love about the way it translated the platforming we know into VR. Game Informer goes on to say Astrobot Rescue Mission feels like it came out of nowhere to quietly prove that familiar genres can feel like new experiences. Add that to the work they put in on presentation, controls, and level design, Astrobot became a game that's just genuinely fun to play. It has a play score of a 9.05.